This week, we're going to learn about another helper. Paul was a brave and tireless preacher, sharing God's word with as many people as he could. And this often made him unpopular. And he was put in prison many, many times. But that didn't stop him. While he was in prison, he wrote letters to the churches of his day. But the problem was, how would he get those letters to the churches? There was no postal service, no emails, no Facebook, no Instagram, and no Twitter. The people in Philippi heard that Paul was in prison, so they thought they would help Paul by sending a man with some money to go and visit him. This man was Epaphroditus. Epaphroditus had to walk a long way from Philippi all the way to Rome, where Paul was in prison. When he got there, he went to visit Paul. Paul was so happy to see him, and soon they became good friends, and Epaphroditus stayed with Paul and helped him while he was in prison. And then one day, Paul said to Epaphroditus, please will you take these letters to the churches that I have written to? And Epaphroditus agreed. So he took the letters from Paul and he walked all the way to those churches to give them those letters. And while he was walking, he was also telling people about the love of Jesus and sharing God's love with them. And one day, Epaphroditus became really ill and he almost died. Are we willing to do the same? To keep on helping others, even when it's difficult like Epaphroditus did? This week's challenge is called random acts of service. You're going to be given some cards to use in your classroom. You can do anything you like to help other people. You can tuck away chairs, open the windows, tidy the books, not only for your teacher but for the other children in your class as well. When you've given, when you've done that random act of service, and this is important, you need to give the person that you helped a random act of service card and explain to them that the reason you are helping them is because you want to share God's love with them. You'll also be given some cards to use around the school, helping other children and other teachers and some cards to use at home. But remember, every time you do an act of service for someone, you must give them a card and explain to them that you are sharing God's love by serving them. And why are we doing this? Because remember, Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men.